Hey everybody, let's write some more hooks, shall we? So I had a look at what we refactored the last time and overall I'm pretty happy about it. But let's just think about the fact what happens if now we want to write an application that includes several components that want to fetch data from Contentful. Then they all would have to implement the use state and use effect handling from scratch. And I think that's not, not, a, not a great approach here. So what I would like to do is, and I'm just dreaming out a little bit out loud here, what would be nice if we could have something similar to use state, but that is called use contentful. And that would only accept a query argument and then just gives us some data. Is that possible? It is, and it is called a custom hook in React. So let's set some up. I think we should try. So what you can do is you can go into the source directory now and let's create a new file that is called, sits into the inside of the hooks directory and let's call it use contentful JS. And this file now will export default use contentful. So we have to define this function. Let's do function use contentful. And we already know that this function should include a query here. And then we know that it should return an object that holds some data. So let's implement that. Hmm? So what we really can do is we can grab all this stuff that we wrote in our app component and we can move it in here. The cool thing about use state and use effect is that it is allowed to be run inside of functional components or inside of custom hooks. And we are writing custom hook right now. So let's import use state and use effect here. And we want to do that from React. And then we still have a little bit of squiggly lines here because we don't have the variables yet, which we have here. So let's add these. And now let's have a look at this custom hook and how it is structured. The functionality is more or less similar. It is a function that uses use state and it says that, hey, please react, set me up some state um, with a null value. And then it uses use effect, which without this dependency array, runs after every render, but with a, an empty dependency array, it only runs once. And then it calls set data when we fetch the data and it returns an object that hold, holds the data um, that was just fetched. So when we now go in here and we import our new custom hook, we can say import use contentful from Let's grab it hooks and use contentful.js. We could in theory already do this and we could get rid of a lot of stuff here. Let's do it like this. And now let's remove these variables and let's save and let's see what happens. All right, so nothing is blowing off, but React gives us a few warnings. First of all, we can now clean up this here because we don't use use state and use effect anymore. And then it tells us something else. So the thing with use effect is that use effect depends on certain things from the outside. So we see here that we defined a callback function that makes a request and uses this query variable that comes from the outside which means that in theory that this callback function inside of use effect should potentially be recalled when query changes. Because when you think of it, when the query, the GraphQL query changes, then we probably need to update some data. And this is why the GraphQL and the React tooling here is telling us to please update this and say that query is a dependency, which now means that when the query updates, this function will be run too. So what we have here right now is that we're all green. It looks like everybody is still working as expected, but we just wrote our first custom React hood. And I think that's very cool. So in the next episode, what we will implement is error handling because currently we're just fetching data and we're not dealing with any errors. And I think we should. See you then.